Hi everyone and welcome back to another series of Passion of Pageants. Now today we will be focusing on the Miss Teen Namibia 2022 and we'll be finding out who the top 12 finalists are. Now I'm Jeanette Vierghaag and I'll be taking you along with me and we'll be going behind the scenes, meeting all the girls and of course seeing what the emotions were, what the feelings were and all the top moments. Now, before we get into anything else, I was styled by Collective Boutique by the beautiful Nikita and Bianca. So thank you guys, you are doing an amazing job. And if you guys would like something similar, head over to them and get your outfit. All right, guys. So do stay tuned and let's see what's happening and let's see how the girls are feeling right now. Jack it up. Thank you. 
everybody and welcome to Flex, the show where we flex our muscles and our minds. I'm Jeanette Dierkaert, your presenter for Flex. Catch me Mondays to Thursdays at 6.30 a.m. where we flex our muscles. And on Fridays at 5.30 p.m. where we will be flexing our minds. We will be talking to wellness experts and fitness experts as they share their story and ways to keep you fit. We will also share your story on fitness and on wellness and of course beauty. So if you like flexing your God-given muscles then join me on Flex as we flex it away. To flex your product or service on Flex, contact me Anushka Dutwe on 
live in a background where everybody is always telling people that you are not going to make it in life. But when I win this competition, I'm going to prove to everyone that you are able to do whatever you want to do. Thank you. If you should win this pageant, what are the changes that you want to see in your community and what would you do to actively promote that? If I were to win the Miss Team Namibia pageant 2022, I would like to use this platform to start up an organization where we teach and educate the young boy morals and education as well as to treat women equally. Thank you. Can you please tell us about a time you overcame the feet and what you want to do? Well, it does. It, from the school where I was taking part in the Smash Panda and I was the youngest girl there, and I felt so defeated. The girls were making me feel like I was nothing, but I felt like, no, you're too small, and everything. And I told myself that, no, I can't let someone tell me who I am. I know who I am, and I will overcome this. Thank you. What contribution does Patrick Lee have in one self image? Well, the contribution Patrick Lee had to myself. It reminded me that when you lift your head up and you look forward and you really believe in yourself, that is when you achieve your biggest goals. Thank you. Thank you. How do you think casually can combat against gender-based violence? Could you please repeat the question? How do you feel casually can combat against gender-based violence? I feel, well, I believe that pageantry for the girls mostly makes them strong and independent women, which means they don't have to be in abusive relationships where the man, uh, uh, where the man wears the pants. Each girl and every woman is able to wear their own pants, not just the dress or underwear. Thank you. Thank you. How do you think pageantry can contribute to the GDP of the country? Do you think it's one of those things that really pushes and boosts our economy? Thank you so much for the question. So obviously pageantry gives us a huge platform to showcase our potential and create awareness on various social issues that we're faced with today, such as the GDP in our country. And I do think that pageantry can promote and help us advocate for the GDP in our country. Thank you so much. How do you feel support systems work in pageantry? Like, what is the importance of having a good support system? Thank you for the question. First of all, I believe pageantry is only possible with the three Ds. Discipline, dedication, and determination. Every girl behind the curtain there has been a sister to me that has helped me and has helped me gain confidence standing in front of every one of you guys tonight, oh, today. So I do think that every girl here is very diverse. This diversity makes us one. Therefore, we can stand together and accomplish anything. Thank you. What do you think your role model in life is mine? My role model in the way that we have to develop that Sasha Lindbergh. She has taught me how to turn my losses into a gain after Miss Universe 2020. And she inspires me to be the young and powerful woman I am destined to be. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, welcome to another exciting edition.
like, what do you get up to? Okay, so I've been hosting conference workshops, and the biggest thing is I've been preparing for my international competition to go and represent Namibia in India at this T International. So a lot of prep happening, a lot of support, a lot of stress, a lot of nerves, but excited. Excited. So on that note, if there's one piece of advice that you could give to all of the girls that we have backstage, what would it be? I think the best advice I can give these girls tonight is to be all on the journey to be authentic to themselves because it's very easy to lose yourself but if you stay true to yourself then you can accomplish anything. With the Miss T Namibia, one of the top 12 finalists, how are you feeling? I'm so excited. I'm overwhelmed with happiness right now. I'm actually feeling great. Thankful, grateful, all of the fools. <laughs> I feel amazing. I feel great. I mean, it was something that I worked for. 
but I also had the negative thoughts inside of me. But I'm glad that my positive thoughts overwhelmed the negative and I'm here. What were your thoughts and feelings while you were on the runway? To be honest, I couldn't feel anything. I was so nervous that I couldn't feel anything. Everything was just going by so fast. Well, just enjoying the moment and um, I was very appreciative of all my friends and family that were supporting me. For me, the thing was, I was very, very grateful for my family to be there. When I walked out on stage, I could hear them immediately screaming for me and shouting my name. And that made me feel so much more comfortable and at home. So I was so grateful for that. I was definitely feeling so many emotions. I didn't know what to think, if I'm being honest. I was like, oh my gosh, is the next step I'm going to take the one that I fall? Or is it going to be a good step? So I was very overwhelmed with... Um, with overthinking, but overall, I have to say, the audience as well as the judges, they really uplifted us all. What are you excited about most for your journey ahead? Growth, honestly, because I've already grown so much in, this, in the journey thus far, and I'm excited to see where this takes me and all the opportunities that I'm going to reach with it. Well, the journey is just to learn a lot because that is what we are here for. We are, we are here to learn important additional skills that will help us better ourselves in our careers in the future. It's going to be a lot of sacrifice and determination, discipline. So I feel like now we can rest for a while. Tomorrow we're back at it. We prep and well, we enjoy every moment of it because we don't always get an opportunity like this. I mean, top 12. So why do you think that, you know, you are such a personality that people actually love? Why do you think you got Miss Public Choice? I think I got Miss Public Choice because I came with my unique self. I didn't come copying someone or doing someone that someone loved. I came to be me and to show them me. I am excited for the opportunities that are coming along. Uh, we have a few excursions that, are, we, are, that, are we, that we are planning. and. Um, I'm excited because now the real work starts and um, the hard work, yes. I look forward to learning more. I look forward to learning all the finalists, including all the other stuff that we're going to do. I look forward to being educated throughout the journey. I'm excited to spend more time with the girls. I'm excited to learn more and, you know, just better myself in my modeling and answering and just generally to become a better model. I think self-growth, honestly, and it, it will, I think this pageant has helped a lot with my discipline. I think that it's good to, uh, uh, I know it's not just, you don't just prepare yourself physically for this, but you also prepare mentally for this. And what I most, mostly look forward to is um, just growing as a person, as an in individual, and yeah, just self-growth. Exciting stuff. All the best, Jordan. And like we will be following all you ladies very closely. So yes, just all the best ahead. Thank you so much. All right, guys, and there you have it. That was the Miss Teen Namibia 2022. The finalist was chosen, and I hope that you loved all of them as much as we did. Now, you already know who your top 12 is. Now it is time to support them all the way and to obviously follow their journey along. So from the Flex team, from the Passion of Pageant series, we can't wait to show you guys the final show in August. And just to say thank you to NBC for hosting such a beautiful production and for hosting everyone. And of course, thank you to Collective Boutique for sponsoring my beautiful outfits that I have been wearing, guys. So if you want anything from them, do go to them. Call Nikita up and ask a girl, please tell me, and she'll do that with a lot of love. But that is it from me, Jeanette Dierkaard, and I can't wait to see you all next time again. So it is bye for now.